Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we're going to take a look at Shin Gundam Musu, or uh, I think as it was called in uh, at least the first one in, in North America, Dynasty Warriors Gundam on uh, PS Vita. I just picked this up today and uh, you know we're going to do a quick unboxing to see what's inside and then we're going to head into direct feed gameplay. So not much in the box, just the game and uh, a little leaflet here which I think explains the controls of the game and uh, also has like some safety precautions to take and what, how to m not mistreat your unit. So it has even less than Warriors Orochi 2 did. But, uh, but anyway, here, so let's head into some direct feed gameplay and see how this game is. Alright, let's go. So, I've really only played uh, Dynasty Warriors Gundam. And actually, I didn't even play the full game. I played the demo on uh, PS3. But... Um, as I said in the Warriors Orochi 2 video, like I am well versed in the uh, in the uh, the Warriors or the uh, the Masu series, and I played quite a few Gundam games. So, okay, yes, there you go. That was much more straightforward than uh, forward than most games. Good. So if there's an opening cinema, we'll watch it. Yeah, in Japan, uh, Namco Bandai is called Bandai Namco. I actually think they're they're changing it, so they're called that everywhere now. Okay. Official mode. This is the official mode of the game. Ultimate mode. All right, let's head over to official mode. So you pick like a saga. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go with the Gundam Seed Saga. Cosmic Era 70. Shino Valentine no Higeki ni yotte. I'm just gonna skip through that. I hope this game has a little more polish than, uh, than uh, Warriors Orochi 2. The production values in that game kind of disappointed me. See, these have static cutscenes like this, but just the mouths moving. It's that little extra touch that kind of... Now, I don't mind Kira as a main character, but he always kind of creeped me out. Like, just the eyes. But I think that's just the art style. Either way, Seed is the only... I think Seed and, uh, and Destiny uh, were the only ones I watched all the way through. This is at the beginning of the series. Preparation. Lots of English in this game. Huh, that's impressive. Okay, here you can change your clan to your partner. Because I don't have any skills. I guess you can level up your pilot. And these are your combos. Standard Dynasty Warriors fair. Alright, let's do it. It's a pretty cool cinematic.
Oh no! Pretty long cinematic. Awesome. ほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほ
enemy officers gains you that part of the field. Similar to the regular ones in the series. When you're in this mode, square or triangle shoots rockets. Next is dodge. Triangle. Triangle shoots like a big shot. Oh, that's uh. What's that guy's name? The Arca and the pilot of the dual gun. You have to go outside. Cool, in space. Oh, I completed the mission. Ow. Pressing up on the D-pad locks on to an officer. Hey, it's Moo. Moo the Flaga. The show. Okay, there's another officer here. I'm gonna go after him. Oh, they're shooting the Archangel. Stop it, jerk ass. Parts. Oh, that's uh, the Buster Gundam. Okay, whoa. I never really understood what's the point of the Buster Gundam, because doesn't the strike with the big gun kind of invalidate him? Alright, so Four points. I have to capture. Alright, I'm gonna request 5,000. Alright, let's do this thing. Alright, did it. So as you're doing combos, like, you have your square, 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 and you have that with pretty much, um, you know, every mode that you're in. But as you do other ones, he changes, like, his style mid-combo. So if you press, like, square twice, then triangle, he changes over to, um, the gun style. If you press it three times, and then press triangle, he switches to his sword. And twice, or just once before you uh, you hit, you change your ale. But yeah, overall the game polish is just, it's there. Although it definitely, definitely is uh, a Dynasty Warriors style game. For better or for worse. It's not trying to pretend to be anything else. So. It's a tapping triangle shoots your gun. Doesn't seem to be much damage though. Here. 
Oh, that's uh, Nickel. I forget the name of this guy. Though. Do I have to take on all four of them in the uh, first level? Oh, yeah, I do. There's after it. Something's happening. No way. Oh, I got him. I think I won. ストライク液化信号を悪演じるは現中域より離脱します。船も無事だ。上出来だったぜ。キラヤマト。君、コーディネーターだろう。<笑> All right. So yeah, so I mean, the game is polished. Uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, it runs really smoothly. And, uh, you know, it's a solid marriage between the Gundam series, I guess, and um, the Warrior series, or the uh, Dynasty Warriors, I guess, series. The only thing I'd be curious about is to see if the customization is there. Customization. But I think it is, from what I've seen. Right, let's skip They're really moving through the series. I think that's like episode four. Alright, so what are my options here? I have a lounge. I don't know what this is. Okay. Favorite. Oh, it's like little cards, I guess. Or, or, I'm not sure. Okay, I guess I added something. Mobile suit lab. Let's see what the customization is like. The customization. Um. Oh, cool. The other Gundams. Fight, shot, defense, armor. Imagine you used to build stuff. Okay, so the customization, I guess, is it's there, but it's just not extensive. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of fun. I, I I enjoyed that first level. I'll definitely be playing more. But uh, let me know what other games you guys want to see. I'll see what I can pick up. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.